Dogs! There's a nice post on the wall there for Team Dog. I'm I'm still gonna stick with Team Dog, even though I think we gotta restart when the new Splatfest comes out. They took our t-shirts, which was really sad. We all had Splatfest t-shirts, but you know, we have to wait for the, the real one to come along before we can use those t-shirts again. So, but yeah, I had mine leveled up a bit, so it's a little sad that I lost my dog shirt. But you only get to use them for the duration of the Splatfest, so it makes sense that they uh, took them there. There we go. Alright, look out. Got somebody sneaking around here. I'm gonna try to get up into the middle. There we go. Sorry about the lag again for the first one, guys. We uh, should be good from now on. Where? Oh, jeez. I'm gonna jump down there and get him because. Oh, I can't use my roller if I run out of paint. Man, he got up past me. Alright, I'm gonna try to get my way up this tower. Is he still up here? There he is. Okay, got him. <laughs> Sorry, Matthew. We might get a few people, I still have some people added from Smash Brothers, so we might get a few players that are from uh, from Smash jumping in here, but I do want to add more people for Splatoon later on, once we uh, can get that set up a little easier. Smash is getting a tourney mode, so that should help a bit with doing that, so I don't have to have everybody added for Smash, but Splatoon, I think I need to have people specifically added unless they're going to find me randomly. Alright, let's crack in and get them if we can. There was somebody up here. They're going back to their base because they're probably worried that I was uh, going to get them with that crack in there. I'm going to try to back up a little bit. We don't want to push too much if they're right here. Go, go, go. There they are. Got that one. Look out. I need to get out of here, though, because that guy's trying to get me. All right, let's, uh, let's jump up here. Try to sneak our way in. I've got my ninja squid on, but it's not going to help too much. Ooh, we got a charger guy. I'm going to try to just mosey on out and around the side. I think we've got most of the middle, so now we're just like really pushing into their base. That charger's trying to get us. This is when I want to lay some beacons down. And look out. Is there somebody coming around the side? Whoop, there they are. Oh, okay. Managed to get them, but my friend took the fall for me. Go, go, go. Or, or sacrificed himself, I guess, is the word. Alright. Go, go, go. I'm trying to keep my guard up here, because they can pop out of anywhere, or have a crazy suction bomb barrage. If I get enough territory... Oh, they're pushing into the middle now, because we pushed so far back. I, if I get enough territory going, then I can do a Kraken. One last Kraken push at the end, I think. A little bit more here. Just a little bit off these ramps. There's a roller! There we go, got it, and I got my Kraken. Alright, this is when we're going to push in. Last few seconds here. Try to get as much as I can, and look out, because I could get splatted while I'm trying to do this. They're pushing in the sides. I don't see anyone around here. I'm get my ink back with my Kraken. Okay, only 14 seconds. There's somebody respawning. They're gonna think they're gonna get me, so I'm gonna... Oh no, never mind. I was like, I'll just walk away. And then, Kraken them! <laughs> if you have the camera adjusted, you can sometimes fool people. Whoa, whoa, man, where did they go? <laughs> they tried to go up the wall? Jeez, alright. That was pretty much the opposite of our first match. <laughs> we have so much blue ink everywhere. Cool, okay, let's see how I did. And then maybe we'll switch weapons. Let me look at the suggestions here while we've got a little time. Five kills, no deaths. Pretty good, I did not do anywhere near as well as that arrow spray player though, man. All right. Ooh, we're about to level up. Maybe we should uh, just use whatever weapon we unlock. We'll do one more and also look at your suggestions and see. Uh, people are asking the Splatfest, if you just tuned in, Splatfest has been postponed. We don't know how for, for how long, but they're going to fix some issues with matchmaking. And hopefully that'll help the normal game, too. You can see I'm playing a ton of Japanese players, and that's because it's it's 11... almost noon in Japan right now. Tomorrow. <laughs> so, there's a lot of players on, you know, during the weekend playing, so we're going to get matched up with them usually, but... A lot of people are hoping we're going to add some... or get some regional matchmaking here, if we're lucky, because... There, there can be some lag issues in this game if you aren't, you know, you're trying to shoot at someone and they aren't where they're supposed to be, it can be pretty frustrating because they can, they can get you, like, I got killed in one episode with a Kraken that was, like, not supposed to be anywhere near, me. like, I was up on a ledge and he killed me, that stuff happens, I don't, I haven't had too many issues with it so far, but it can happen, Splattershot Pro, people are saying, oh, that's a, that's a, a uh, seeker there, Should be careful. Probably throw another one out. The ink strike right in the middle. So I think we probably have a 52 gal, if not a uh, somebody with a what's the uh, the one called? The aerospray, aerospray MG or RG. There we go. There's a sprinkler up there. Try to get it. 
look out, because I'm sure someone is shooting at me right now. We're in a high contested area, there's a charger right there. Alright, let me build up my Kraken. One more again. Here. Oh, they just threw a sprinkler right in there. Let's look out, they're gonna try to sneak up. But I see you there, and there's a Kraken. Run, run, run! Jump! And look out, because I've got... There we go. Ugh! <laughs> Had to, like, turn my controller. 360 almost there. Kraken almost got me, but I managed to escape. Alright, let's look out. I'm sure there's gonna be... Okay, we got our sniper up on the perch. That's good. They're gonna try to sneak around the side, probably. Nope, my buddy got him. Okay. Tried to cut off that one person that was pushing in. Okay, I gotta learn from another episode's mistake and really push into their territory during this time, because otherwise we might lose if we're just trying to hold the middle. See if I can get a little bit more ink, and I'll use my Kraken. There we go, right at the right time. That was looking down the face of a charger. Get that guy, there we go. <laughs> and, uh, look out, there's a charger going through, I think that's what that was. They got their special, but I don't know what it is. Probably a bomb rush or something. Oh, we got a killer whale there. Somebody on the other side of that killer whale trying to get us. Go, go, go. We're doing okay here. There's definitely someone. Sneak up on him. Get him. <laughs> Jeez. I'm running out of ink. Get up on top of this thing. Oh no, there's somebody behind me. Okay, there we go. Recharge. I think they just went through or something because I don't see them now. Where'd they go? Try to build up enough to get my crack in. Somebody's super jumping in. And we roll over them and then crack in. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if we can find anyone else. I got two players there because I saw that person super jumping in. With those little swirls. Somebody booyahed. Aha. Hopefully I helped them out. All right, I'm going to make one more push here. Get a little bit up there where they can't get it so easily. And look out. That roller's turning around. Oh, okay, that was close. <laughs> a little bit more splat. Splatting all over and... <laughs> didn't sound right. Sorry there. Push into their base. There we go. That was pretty close to the same as uh, the other one. Look how much... There's my big stream there on the right side. Okay, so I've, I'm seeing suggestions for uh, ink brush. Ethan says I should turn off motion controls, but I love the motion controls. They help me aim a lot better. There we go. Eight kills, zero deaths, and I think we got elite. <laughs> or no, we're a few a few hundred off from getting elite score there. All right, and we leveled up. Let's go check out Sheldon's Ammo Knights shop and see what we unlocked. All right, and you guys want to see the ink brush. That would be good for splat zones because I want to play the new map, so... I might check that out as well. Let's hop into Ammo Knights. There we go. Hello, hello. So what did we unlock? You're looking fairly fresh. Oh, the 96 gal. Its main weapon has an extra large ink tank aligned for powerful shots from a lot of range, and the sprinkler and echo care can be used to keep foes right where you want them. So it's an excellent weapon for fighters who want to control the pace of battle. Ooh, and we also, we got these long lost blueprints from his grandpappy. This is our, I think, our last set from beating the boss in single player, the final Octo Weapon. What did we get here? Oh, we probably can't use it yet. Yeah, oh, the irony. I couldn't have crafted this weapon without you, but you're not fresh enough to wield it. I'll keep it in my warm, crabby embrace for now. Come back and buy it after you've leveled up, friend. Yeah, we can't get it, whatever. I think it's a, a very far down roller, like all the way back here. Yep, I think that's it, at level 20 or so. Okay, so we're going to change weapons. We could get the 96 gal. We've got enough to buy it. Let's see, what other stuff? Maybe I will, uh, I'll buy it, but we're going to go to the ink brush, I think, because if we're going to splat zones, I'd like to use one of my preferred weapons, and also we need to, uh, there, we, there it is. Looks pretty cool. It's a bigger version of the 52 gal. I don't like the subs quite as much. The sprinkler's good, as it's on the ink brush, but Echolocator is not a bad weapon. It tells you where all your opponents are, and it gives your whole team a good heads up on that, too. All right, and I don't know if there's anything good in the shops. Let me just double check here real quick. I think I've got a pretty good set of gear on that I like. I got Ninja Squid, ink resistance on my shoes, and I'm wearing those uh, contacts, so it looks like I don't have a hat on, but I have one. It's just they're on my eyes. My hat is on my eyes. Okay, we're going into ranked... Maybe we'll get Bluefin Depot here within the next couple so we can see it. But I'm a little worried. I've never played on this map before outside of single player. So let's see how it is. We can test out maps, but I'm just going to dive straight in. Uh, Andrew's asking, do you like the new stage? I haven't tried it yet, but I, I kind of liked it in single player. It looked really vertical 
And it kind of looked like it would be tough to backtrack back into your own territory because you, like, jump off ledges. We'll see. We've got a lot of Japanese players, but it is that time of day. Team Cat Inkbrush says, Trevor, I'm going to be Team Dog, probably Inkbrush, <laughs> when the Splatfest comes, but I'm sticking with Team Dog. That's the one I chose, but I have a feeling that Team Cat is going to be a force to be reckoned with. There are so many Team Cat Miiverse posts. I saw a few dog ones, too, but... All right. Here we go. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you do want to leave a thumbs up, ooh, we're going straight to Bluefin, then I do appreciate it. it. Let's me know you enjoy these streams. Somebody put some name tags everywhere on the back. Okay, so I have no idea, other than uh, from single player, how this stage works, so I'm going to try my best. Can we even get back up here after we jump? Doesn't look like it, but at least uh, for the for the main like spawn area, we can't do that. Okay, there are some walls, too. Oh yeah, we can't... We can't really, like, get back into some of these areas, it looks like. I probably shouldn't be spread out from my, my teammates here. Let me throw a, uh... Oh, I have low ink. I want to throw a... Oh, we're doing splat zones! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh no! I feel like a big dummy. We're supposed to be going for the splat zones, obviously. I was just playing Turf War, so that really threw me off. Okay, so where is the splat zones down there? Can I throw a sprinkler onto that? Oh, jeez. Yeah, let's move in and look out. Got a roller here. Try to go back. Behind. Where did they go? Oh, their Fluddy is moving right in, so let's quickly get them, get them, get them. There we go. All right. We're in control. Took me a little bit to adjust there. Sorry about that, guys. I was, like, totally just inking turf, thinking it was a normal turf war. But no, there's flat zoning. All right. Here we go. Let's get that roller so they can get us. Move around. Make sure we're covering most of this. So do we have... We only have one zone here, and it's on one side. That's bizarre. Most splat zones, uh have only one zone to keep, but because there's like two main sides to this map, it's very strange that we're only on one of them, but that's okay. I'm gonna ink these walls so that we can climb up there and try to... Ooh, maybe I'll ink strike over here. Oh, they have a... Ooh, I should have done that. I just saw they have a a uh, squid beacon on the other side, so they might be trying to sneak around into our territory. Well, that was quick. Okay. <laughs> well... You can see my little my little squiggle from my ink brush moving over. Man, quick knock out there. So it's only on the bottom side. That's bizarre. But I don't know. It works. We'll, we'll got to learn that map a little better. I think Turf Wars is my preferred way to learn how to play a map because you have to go everywhere. But we uh, we did it. Somebody just said they ate a spider. Maybe they're trying to say splatter. But I don't know. <laughs> Either way, stay safe. <laughs> don't eat strange spiders that you find in your bedroom. Okay. We're going to battle again. I'll stick with the ink brush for a little bit, as long as you guys want to see it. And let's check out the chat while we're waiting a little bit with this fine reggae music. Here we go. Can you, some, can you give some techniques for the 52 deco gal, or 52 gal deco? It's hard to use. Yeah, the 52 gal deco, it's, it doesn't have great range, but only a few shots will kill an inkling. I think most of your kills are going to come from your sub weapon. The Seeker is really good, and the last episode, if you want some tips on it, you probably watched that the last episode we did online. I, I played using that, and I'm still getting used to it as well, but I think it's uh, mainly focusing on using your Seeker to get stuff done is uh, my preferred way to do stuff with 52 Gal. All right, so this little thing isn't here in Turf Wars. Kind of cool. I throw my sprinkler in and try to back my buddy up. There we go. Getting my Ink Strike ready. They've got a sniper, so i got to be careful here. They might try to... No, no, that's not a sniper. That's just the splat zone. <laughs> the line for the splat zone is right there. Oh, they do have a sniper, but... All right, let's dip out. So that sniper's probably going to try to get in there. All right, and if I can throw my sprinkler up there, it'll probably help us out. The sniper is going to be over on the side, so I'm going to try to do that. Maybe I'll get him. Let me see. They just ran through it. Oh, I think they got splatted before that. <laughs> Trying to use my ink strike to usually I'll use it on the splat zone so we you know we can get the area we need, but at the same time I want to use it on uh, taking out any squid beacons or, or things that are going to be tough for us to to stay alive with them active. Jeez, oh, they just echo located me. What's going on with these guys? I might have lost someone, somebody up there. Can I jump and splat them? I think they backed up fast enough where I couldn't really get them there. Or maybe we're, we're tracking them. I can see them on my radar. All right. Or we maybe one of my buddies is in the base. Can't tell. Did they get my... It looks like they got my sprinkler. All right. I'll throw another one here. Try to get their area. I got to remember, they've got a charger. Let's try to get a lot of this covered here. Make it a little easier. You don't want to push too far into their base, because then they're going to get the zone. But 
man, we really, we really uh, <laughs> got it there. All right, nice knockout. We're leveling up quick and getting tons of money, so I can unlock some new weapons. Usually I don't play this well on the actual episode, so maybe I'm having good luck with you guys behind me. I got zero kills, but, you know, I helped <laughs> in my own way. The zone is the important part, not the kills. Oh, we might actually rank up here. I'm still in C-. minus. Let's do another one. Uh, Crazy Gamer wants to see the single player armor. The, it's all level 2 stuff, so it's not bad. I just, uh, I don't know, the abilities on it. I really love, I probably won't change the abilities on my, uh, or the main ability on my shoes or my shirt, but I want to change to the striped one. I just got to unlock more slots on it as we level up, save up a bunch of gold. But yeah, I really like Ninja Squid and Ink Resistance. I feel like those are like the two best abilities. Um, someone else said yesterday they ate a spider. What is going on with all these spider eaters? I know it's summer and there's spiders everywhere, but don't eat them. <laughs> I don't have to say that <laughs> in most situations. No. Uh, but yeah, for my headgear, that ability, I haven't really decided on one, but I do like uh, I do like Ninja Squid and Ink Resistance a lot, so it's tough to want to use anything that doesn't have those on it, but, you know, okay, let's try to move in here and look out for those catwalks, because somebody's going to try to sneak up on us if we're not careful. Someone was just over there. I see him. I see him with their shooter. I'm trying to Ninja Squid, and which way are they coming from? There they are. Get him, get him, get him. <laughs> there we go. Use this here. Hopefully that'll cover a little bit at least. Probably could have saved it a bit, but you know, the, m the more terrain... There we go, I got somebody with it. The more terrain you have going, the uh, the more you're going to get your specials, so you might as well try to use them when you can. And this is the time when I'm going to try to ink some of this. Ooh, somebody sneaking up on us. Let's try to sneak up on them and get them. They might have lost... I don't know if... They I keep feeling like the, the other team might be losing people, because otherwise... Feels like they don't have that many around. There's the upside down sprinkler. Gonna help me cover a lot of this. All right, they're gonna respawn here, so try to push a little bit back into their territory. There's somebody right there. I see him? I see ya. Oh, that almost, almost was a little tough there to. Uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, this is a little tough there to kill him because I was so far away. But I managed to get that roller. They just turned around and got me. All right, I'm gonna try to jump to my buddy. He's not too far, but. It'll save me a little bit of time, maybe. Let's see, can I jump and throw a sprinkler up there? There's somebody right on the catwalk. Oh no, I ran out of ink. That's not good. Get that roller. Ah! <laughs> Turned around right at the end and got me. All right. Let's see. Somebody said they're playing in this round. Yeah, I'm excited to see. If you if you are in any of these matches, let me know and uh, let me know on Twitter or something. And I'll go back and check later and see who I played with. It's exciting to have some of you guys jump in here. There's a roller there. I can ink up to him and not get hit this time. There we go. Got him. Oh, they're getting a lot of uh, stuff going on here. This is what I'm going to jump up and try to hit this area and look out. Oh, that's one of my guys. All right. Ink strike. And there's a guy right there. Gotta be careful. Okay, my buddy got him. Thank you. He saved me. It's teamwork for you. All right, I think my sprinkler's going okay. There we go, I think we knocked him out. Doing pretty good with the ink brush. It is one of my favorites. It exercises your finger, for sure. <laughs> Gotta get that tap finger going. I just watched a, there's a video that's like gamer hand health. And I do think it's useful. It's a little funny because the guy keeps, he's a doctor, but he keeps talking about actions per minute. Like he's got these keywords he wants to say to appeal to gamers. We ranked up, nice, um, but it, it'll, I put it, maybe I'll put a link in the description for you guys so you can see it. But yeah, it's a doctor talking about different exercises to do with your hands to improve your, you know, your finger, like, reflexes, but also to make sure your hands don't get messed up. And I'm sure a lot of you guys play games probably almost as much, or if not more, than I do. <laughs> so that'll be good. I'll, I'll put that in the description. Just got to remember here once the video is, or the stream is over. But yeah, I found it pretty useful, and I've been trying to do those, and I do feel like I'm get, uh, getting better. I've been playing Smash and playing Splatoon and feel like I'm improving, and either it's practice or it's my finger exercises. I don't know. All right, let's go in. Get a little ink here for people. I've heard that sniping, that plant right in front of your spawn there is a really good sniping spot because you can, like, shoot over the wall, and uh, it's, it's kind of weird, but you shoot over the wall there, and then you can just night people from back at the base where you're moderately safe. There we go. I might try to put my sprinkler in a different spot here if I can. But right there. Where's the other team? 
I don't know. Oh, they're over there. Let's see if I can get that one with an ink strike. So I just threw it. There's somebody trying to get my sprinkler. I can get him from underneath, maybe? Oh, I don't know if I killed him, but somebody did. I put some... I threw a few little bits of ink on there to help out. Let me get this wall going. Alright, get as much of this as we can to prepare. So when the other team pushes in, we're gonna have a tough time. Alright, where are they? Can sneak around? Get this little bit over here as well. Also building up my special. There they are. The roller. They're not gonna turn around on me. Most likely until it's too late. There we go. <laughs> got him. Maybe I'll put... They got rid of my sprinkler. Oh, we got an Inkzuka. Inkzukas are the worst, especially if you have lag going on. They're good. They took them out. If you have lag or the other person is lagging, they can hit you and they're not, you know, you might not even have their Inkzuka visible on your screen, so be careful. I haven't really run into a lot of this stuff. It's just things that I've heard other players talk about. They really went back and inked our base. Like, they're trying to be mean and, uh, or not mean, but I think they're trying to do damage to us, but another knockout there. Jeez. Alright. Let's check out the chat while we are getting the results. Blam! Point that pointy little weird squid tail at us, Judd. We had some revelations in single player. If you guys didn't see some of the last Super Sea Scrolls, man, they were so pushed back, I only got one kill. The Judd has, uh, I don't want to spoil stuff if you haven't watched it or you want to play it on your own, but Judd's got some, some weird stuff about him. All right. Let's see. <laughs> the Yummy Yoshi says spiders have protein. <laughs> I guess that's one reason to eat them, but just be careful. You never know where that spider's been. Okay. I want to see, someone wants the Kraken Roller again. I just used the Kraken Roller not long ago, so after we finish with the ink brush, I'll switch to something else, but we'll go back to the Kraken Roller later. I definitely like using it. Should change weapons. Yeah, I'll do that after this one. So, ooh, going on once more into Kelp Dome. I want to play Bluefin Depot, but it's up to the Squid Gods, which one we run into. All right, got a nice mix there. Roller, brush, uh, arrow spray, and a uh, charger there, so. Doing okay with that. I'll let somebody else go up that way. Let the roller do that. Let the roller roll, is what I say. Alright, let's throw that in. Didn't quite make it, but it should help out a bit. Let's look out. They're up on the catwalk there. Do not want them to sneak up on us. This middle area. Charge up my ink. That one, my roll, my <laughs> sprinkler's not in the best spot. Is that? That's an enemy. No, it's not an enemy one. It's really hard to tell with the rollers whether they're an enemy sometimes, because the if they go through our ink, they'll get our colors on their roller, and that's like really crazy to try to. Jeez, it's crazy to try to tell if they're on our team or not. Otherwise, I think this is one of the easiest competitive games to tell who's on your team and who isn't. Jeez, they just super jumped in there or something. But uh. Cause yeah, you can you can just kind of at a glance see what color ink they're spraying, or even if you can't tell what color they are, it's cool to just be able to look and uh, and see that they're your enemy or they're with you. Okay, let's try to splat that immediately after they dropped it. Don't want to get them get in any territory here. Oops, somebody's up there. Let's throw that up there. Have them deal with that, and then pick up on them over here. There we go. <laughs> the catwalk leaves you so vulnerable because you can't just hide away. There we go, whoa, back it up, back it up, All right. and then I'm going to try to do that little spot in the corner, get that, my, sp my sprinkler is probably hitting some of the, the walls on accident, oh, we got two people super jumping, look out, get him, get him, get him, oh, oh no, I was like, not sure when they were going to jump, it took them forever, and then I accidentally, uh, accidentally was run out of ink, so I was like, oops, but I got him, I just died in the process, sacrificed myself like a hero, no, the one guy that jumped and then I hit him, I wonder if he had a stealth super jump, because I didn't even see him jumping in there. Alright, I feel like I got a lot of kills on that <laughs> on that one. Let's see, and we'll switch weapon seven. Alright, we're getting more money. Man, this is like my best string of splat zones in quite a while, but we're going to drop out and do a new weapon. I want to see what people want to see. We're almost about to level up again. This is definitely fast. The best way to, to get money and level is to win in splat zones. Let's see. What weapon are we going to use? I'll have to look back on some of these suggestions. Alright, thank you guys again for watching. We've got almost 500 people here. YouTube's going to improve its its streaming service pretty soon, so uh, hopefully it'll be a little easier. There'll be one page that you guys can just jump on to get all the streams, and yeah, so it should be more comparable to Twitch pretty soon. I just like to stream on YouTube because 
it's uh, where all you guys probably watch my videos, hopefully. So, meow, your vibe today is so hot. Here's a cool bonus of 1,400 gold. And let's see, he's talking about super jumps. He gives you good tips, Judd. Even though he's asleep, it's uh, it's really valuable information. Okay, let's uh, let's jump in and switch our weapon out. Let's see, we see a lot, or I see. I'm not like Gollum. We see a lot of uh, splat roller, or yeah, splat rollers. I see the splatter shot junior team mouse. That's not an option for Splatfest. The arrow spray MG. Let me see. People like the crack on splat roller. I do too. Here's all the weapons I have. So you can get a quick glimpse here. Those are the normal default three. And then we've got these ones. 52 gal deco. splash o -matic. I haven't used the splash o -matic that much. That's the new weapon, but we did just do an episode on it not that long ago. I see a lot of arrow sprays. We are about to unlock, I think, the second arrow spray here. So maybe we should hold off on that one until we unlock the second one, because we can use that anyways. Uh, how long will the stream be? Probably at least another half hour or so. Time goes fast when you're splatting. Let's see. Someone just ate some squid. Kid a quill. That's cool. Squid is pretty delicious. Splatter shot. Arrow spray. I see a lot of arrow sprays. Or the gal deco. We just used that one. Let's do... Let's do the... This one can be really fun. Let's use the 52 gal deco because I got those seekers. And then we'll use the arrow spray RG because I think we unlocked that next level. We we're so close to unlocking that. So we can do both of those. And then I'll keep looking at, at uh, suggestions here. Let's do some more ranked so we can level up quick here, hopefully. Let's see. Someone's asking about Terraria. I don't know. I've never played Terraria. It looks interesting. But a lot of people have been suggesting it. I, uh, I saw the... <laughs> Right next to the Minecraft toys, you see the, the Terraria toys. Whenever I go to Target or someplace, I've got to look at the toys. But <laughs> the Terraria stuff, I see that everywhere now. It's funny because it started out like looking a lot like old Final Fantasy or something, but now it's got its own selection of toys. Minecraft's kind of like that too, very influenced by other games, but it's got its own thing. It's made its own name for itself. All right, I have to remember, I've got a shooter here, so we got to use some better aim instead of just flailing about and throw in a... I gotta remember, uh, my, my issue with using the 52 gal last time was that when we started with it, was that I did not save enough ink. Whoa, that was weird. Save enough ink to get my... Ooh, he's got this ink strike. Can we get him from here? No, man, he's way back there. I did not save enough ink to use my seeker when I needed it, and we really need to use our seekers. There we go, that was close. I was going against an arrow spray. And that would have been real bad if I didn't shoot him just in time there. All right, let's see if we get some of that. I'm gonna send one of these in there. They like to go on the catwalk, I'm sure. I hear a kraken or something activated. There's somebody up there. There we go. Save my buddy. Oh, but I got arrow sprayed in the back. So that's the RG. The arrow spray MG has the seeker and the inkzuka, and the RG, the gold one, has ink mines, which are kind of, you gotta look out for those, and the ink strike, which I think ink strike is like, ev almost everyone seems to use the ink strike in ranked. Can that get him? Almost, oh, <laughs> I almost had him there. Let's see if I can lock onto one of those guys. There we go, we got one of them. Let's try and get the other one there as well. Let's make sure we're not pushing too far in. Okay, there's somebody up there. Let's see if I can ink them. I'm gonna try to drop down. They've got a special. Get them while they're ink striking. Nope. There we go. Got that guy. And look out. Oh, no. They backed up. And they got a Kraken, too. They cracked up. They backed up. They're going to try to sneak around here. Let's quickly use our ink strike. And get them. My whole team is, like, right here, so we've got to be careful. You do not want to bunch up in, uh, in Splatoon. You might be in trouble. They're trying to stay back. All right, let's ink this up and see if I can get that guy up there. My range is not great. They got their ink strike, so we gotta look out here. He's around the corner. Will I track him? Nope. That's one of my guys, I think. <laughs> like I said, it's hard to tell with the roller sometimes. There we go. Seek him. Alright, got him. Look out, there's a guy up there. That's the one problem with those seekers. You can't hit people that are up top with them. Back up, seek him. And there we go. There's another guy there. If I can get another seeker in time. Nope, he jumped, jumped up. Oh, almost got him. There we go. My friend helped me. Lock on. Yeah, these Seekers. So good. We gotta make sure we're, we're keeping in control, though. I can't just be splatting other Inklings. Gotta make sure we're holding down the fort. We got this, so let's uh, throw that in there. And look out, because there's a guy right there. That roller's probably gonna get him. There we 
we go. Oh man, got two. Got the Ink Strike and got the Seeker maybe. Or just the Ink Strike took him out. we have got an Ink Suka up top. Might be able to snipe him from over here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> they were so focused on their Ink Suka that they couldn't really aim down at me. There's somebody coming in. And... Oh, I got, he got Kraken, so I don't have to worry about that. Man, double Krakens. Kraken is so popular. Especially if you've got lag online, the Kraken is a really good choice. Because... <laughs> People can't get out of the way sometimes. They might not even be where you, you splatted them. There we go. All right, another win. <laughs> Let's see, we are gonna, we're going to get our new weapon here though, because I think we leveled up. We'll see, but I don't know. Maybe just over the edge. Nice, 12 kills. Those Seekers did a lot of work for me there. I, I'd like to thank the Seekers and the Academy for that win. Let's see, I can't believe I'm playing this much better on stream than when I record. Sometimes I record <laughs> late at night, so I'm like, I gotta get this recorded. Take a while to uh, to render and upload it. It takes hours to do all that stuff, so I'm like, I gotta record before I go to bed and I'll be tired. But now I'm real alert. We got a nice win streak. We are so hot, says the vibe meter. All right, let's keep, keep an uh, eye on the chat here. Use the rollers is awesome, Minecraft. We can go back to the roller soon. I do want to try out the new aerospray once we unlock that. I'm pretty sure that we're going to get that. Someone said they're so hungry they ate the Wii U, but that's better than eating a spider. So, <laughs> I got, I, probably electronics is worse for you, though, I guess, so maybe it's worse. All right. Gravity Falls comes back July 13th. That's also when Steven Universe comes back, so that's a good day for people that are fans of newer cartoons. All right. Going back to Bluefin. Finally, we had so many kelp domes. I'm glad we get to try this again. And the Splat Zone... It, I guess it would be weird if the Splat Zone was only... Or was on both sides because of how spread out it would be, but I don't know. Let me use that charger guy to my advantage. Get over here. I think there's a little way to get between these two spots, though. I saw a little bridge. Oh, no. It's like a ramp that goes up, and then you have to... Yeah, that's weird. You can't ink this tarp. Tarps are ink-resistant, so you got to be careful. If you're going to back up, you might not be able to charge. Okay, they're pushing way in. Send out that. Hopefully my buddy doesn't get in my way. I don't think anybody got hit by that. There's a Kraken. Let me get them. If they can't... Oh, they had some type of special. I got them before they could use it. That's always a uh, bad time for that person. All right, time to ink strike. Get him! <laughs> get him! Speaking of Gravity Falls, is that one guy. Get him! Uh, yeah, I need to try... Yeah, this is weird. I'm, I'm trying to get used to the strategy here. They can pick us off from up there. They've got a lot of room. I like to stick, stick back with the... With my... Oh, jeez. I took him out. I kind of didn't aim at him fast enough. I, I uh, need to stick back a little bit with my my Seeker. Someone on our team's like, on the other side. I'm going to try to jump in. Oh, no. We lost we lost our uh, all of our guys over there. Let's see if I can jump up and throw that. Oh, no. That didn't work. I, just, I can sometimes jump up and throw a Seeker in one of those spots, but I think they're... Did their sprinkler even work? Or Man, they're hanging out. Okay, I got to go in quickly here. Get that sprinkler out of the way. And look out! They're both right... Oh. <laughs> if I'm going out, I'm gonna drown. I'm not gonna let you kill me. Okay, my team's in the in there now. I'm gonna quickly try to jump in. Go, go, go! Before they can overwhelm us. There we go. Okay. We got our, we got our zone back. Phew. I think they snuck around, my, my teammates, because I saw them come in from behind and uh, take them out there. Look out! Whoa! I ran out of ink there, so I was trying to use the Seeker, but, whoa! I just saw an Inkzuka drop to the ground. Somebody got killed right after they used their special, I think. Alright, that's their tarp. We could use this ramp to kind of sneak up. I'm gonna get a lot of this covered. And let's jump up here, maybe? Then I can shoot a little farther. They're gonna try to get over that way. Oh, no! <laughs> I saw him, and I was like, oh, no. Sniper. Charged. And we're still doing okay. As long as they take that charger out, I'm going to try to super jump. This can be risky. I went through the metal. All right, we're okay. Somebody's down there? I can't really tell. We can splat up there. I just got to look out. We can jump back up into their territory. Okay. Still learning about this. This is the new map, of course. And I got a uh, charger buddy. I'm going to back up here, hopefully. I'm trying to get the sides. Just, ooh, that was an ink. Look at that Inksuka kid right there. Squid kid getting ready to shoot. All right. I, uh, I did drown, but I think we won. Yeah, we got that knockout. Why can't Inklings swim, says Sailor Italy. Uh, I, I believe they've evolved to the point where they're only able to go on land. They are made of ink, so they just dissolve in water. It's weird. Their ink dissolves really quickly, even like minutes after a battle. 
it will dissolve, so that's what they uh, are stuck with in life. Jeez, we're less than 300 away, very close to leveling, but we'll do one more with the 52 gal deco, and then we'll use the aerospray RG when that unlocks, and then you guys can leave me some more weapon suggestions if you'd like. Uh, Traces, Adam watches Steven Universe. Yeah, Steven Universe and Adventure Time are my two favorite uh, non-live action shows, I guess, right now. They're really great. Let's see. Swimming Bird, we need a face reveal, said Black Ace. Uh, I've a couple people saying that. I've definitely had some videos in the past, maybe not the best videos, that have face cam. So I, I think Among the Sleep is a, a playthrough I'd recommend. If you want to see what I look like, then uh, it is out there. But Among the Sleep was a really fun little horror game where you play as a baby. And uh, that's a unique experience. So go check that out if you haven't. Thank you guys again for hanging out for this Splatter Day Night Live. I forgot I called it that. Hopefully that's a good name. I have a feeling somebody else probably has used that as well, but I love it. So I'm going to stick with it. And we got over 500 people. Awesome. Thank you guys again. If you want to leave a thumbs up or a like, I definitely appreciate it. I'm doing probably some of the best I've done in a video that we've done, at least. When I when I play on my own, it's not as big of a... You know, pressure. Oh, we're on the oh, we're on the wrong side. Oh, I've never been on this side before. Let's jump over. There we go. Okay, I had time to do that. I didn't realize though the battlefield's like flipped when you are the one with the uh, you are the one who inks and you've got that going on. Oh no! Oh no! Where did he go? <laughs> oh no! Where did he go? Somebody want to remix that into a song? Ah <laughs> uh, no! <laughs> I realized I have, there's a lot of people out there like Game Grumps and stuff who have song remixes and I'm like, I, I don't have one of those. I'm a little envious, but it's alright, I don't make any make any musical things to, to merit that that much. I'm going this way again. But yeah, there we go, that was a nice rhyme. I don't know if that's enough material to go off of. Uh, but yeah, th there was, oh, I, I can't remember his name right now, but there was a nice viewer that made a remix of my Tomodachi Life stuff and uh, that was a really cool video. I can't remember his name. He's got an ice climb. I think it's Amax Productions. He's got an ice climbers icon usually, so you'll know him from that probably. But yeah, I want to do a little shout out to him because that was really cool. I do appreciate it. All right, let's see. Yeah, we got we got our ramps. But they can use them as well. What's going on with them? They're really not taking this territory. I think my my friends are are pushing in. This is a little strange that there's only one splat zone, and it's not very big on this map. Ooh, did someone sneak up behind us? Maybe they did, but I don't see him now. Alright, they're, they're getting kills, but I need to hold on here and... No! <laughs> I almost fell off. I didn't have enough time to use my Seeker, and I figured if I shot him with the 52 gal, I would not survive long enough to, uh, to take him down with that roller hot on my tail. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go! In ink to battle! Can't get that over there. Oh, it did! Okay, it went over. And, oh, this is when we want to Ink them. There we go. Try to jump on that ramp there. Alright. I'll use that. Hopefully that was a good time. Somebody might be in there. I saw someone. Yeah, there we go. Usually you want to time it whenever you can, obviously, to get the territory, but that ink strike took out somebody. So I'm proud of that. Alright. There's somebody right there. Oh! Hey! You Kraken? It was ninja squidding, but I think he saw me go up there. <laughs> How can you see me? I'm a ninja! I have my face covered and everything. Alright, let's get back in here. Yeah, this map is pretty cool. I'm, I'm excited to try it in Turf Wars. Gotta wait a little longer to do that, though. Alright, let's see if we can get this territory back. If we... We already have it. Yeah, we're counting down. Just gotta be careful. Just me sneak up on us here. It's possible. I see a few lines. There's somebody. Oh, I ran out of ink there. I need to get my Seeker going. Oh, they took him out. Okay. I like backing up with my Seeker with the roller. That's the strats against the roller. Let's just back up, because otherwise... They'll roll you over, as their name suggests. All right, let's uh, see what's going on in the chat. I think we leveled, right? Let me see. I forget if we we were right near the edge, so this should be enough to get us that win. And I think we're almost going into C plus already. Oh, there we go. Three kills, three deaths. Nice average. Man, their roller had a lot of kills, but they were not controlling that zone. And now we're in C plus. Awesome. The plus and minus are easier to get through, and we leveled up. So let's go check out. Booyah base. I didn't mention the Booyah base is actually a pun. I didn't realize that at first. There's a French dish called Booyah base, which is like a seafood dish. I've never had it before, but it sounds good. I like seafood. But uh, but yeah, they they based Booyah base off of that. Plus, you know, Booyah, I think there's a place called Shibuya base. Oops. 
in in Shibuya, in Japan, so it's also another little nod there. You're looking fairly fresh. Ooh, I wheeled my splat. Oh, I thought we were going to unlock the 52, or the the aerospray RG, but I think we have a little longer. Go on, give it a try. The splatter scope is a splat charger with an added scope for effective long-range aiming. We'll see what you guys are suggesting to switch to. It's great for hitting far-off targets, but your view is narrow while charging, so careful where you use it. And that's not all. I had a burp there, so I muted. Sorry about that. You're also right. Oh, no, we got two weapons. Yeah, okay, phew. I thought it was 13. The Aerospray RG is like the Aerospray MG I built from my grandpappy's blueprints, only shinier. Combining its rapid-fire capabilities with tricky ink mines allows for some great hit-and-run tactics. Add the ink strike into the mix, and it's the perfect package if you like causing complete and utter chaos. There we go. Okay, and we got ample money. You guys, I want to try this out. Somebody was suggesting the Aerospray. We'll equip it. Look at it. so shiny and gold. And we've got enough money to buy some other stuff. We could do the splatter scope. I see quite a few splatter scopes, so let's buy that, and we'll use that in a little bit as well. I think the the aerospray not quite as good in turf wars. I'm gonna try some regular just for a little bit here too. Some tur some or it's good in turf wars. I think not quite as good in splat zones because it does not have great range. Like you can cover a lot of area, but ooh, I think it's a little better off when you're trying to just ink a lot of turf. Thank you guys for, for tuning in, though, and sticking with me. I know we had a little bit of lag at the beginning, but we're going strong now, hopefully, other than the fact that I just had a weird communication error. But that's all right. We're getting booted out. We'll try again right immediately. All right, we're using... Yep, Frank DeSmith says, use the new Airspray RG. That's what we're doing. And we're going to jump in. Oh, no. Lots of level 20s and a level 9. Hopefully I get paired with those 20s and not with the 9. Well, a level I don't think a level really matters as long as you're playing well. It's just, <laughs> usually you see a level 20, you're like, okay, they know how to play. And you see a level 9 and, you know, they're learning how to play. Okay, thank you guys again. If you want to leave a thumbs up, I do appreciate it. Let's begin. If that roller's not going over here, I'm going to... So yeah, the Aerospray. Look at this, uh, this rate of fire. It's crazy. The highest rate of fire in the game. Really good spread. Kind of like the Splatter Shot Jr. Uh, the ink mines on the RG, the, the gold model that I'm using, are not bad. I think those are pretty good for splat zones, actually, because you can put them right in the zone where you know people are going to go. This map, you can leave them in, in narrow areas and uh, throw them out there. We're going to move in here, probably. Let's ink it up, and then I've got this ink strike that maybe I can throw over there. Get that little corner. Don't want to worry too much about every nook and cranny. I managed to get somebody there. All right, so this is when I want to see if somebody is coming my way, and then we'll leave a little ink mine there. If they follow me, then uh, they'll run over it. There they are. And they got out of the way, though. Oh, no. The ink mine's probably not that tough to dodge if you know what you're doing, but they have, like, a delay before they blow up. So they, they can splat someone with one hit. It's just a little unfortunate if you are trying to get someone like and they hear it they can get out of the way plus some people have the the ability mind sniffer i think is what it's called it's like a shoe ability usually that that tells you when oh no i shouldn't try to run i should have tried to get close the, it tells you when there's a mine around so it gives you a little heads up we're doing pretty good on our side inking like they did this pretty well so i don't have to worry about that but they're trying to undo our good work splat bomb throwers Let's be careful here and try to get in close. Oh, man. <laughs> I thought I would take down one with me, but I'm not used to the, the close range of this. We were just using that 52 gal deco, and it has a lot better range than the splatter shot, or the, uh, the aerospray. That's the big downfall of this thing. So do they go around that way, or do they go around this way? To try and get my ink mines. Oh, no! I think you can. I can't remember if you can only lay one ink mine at a time, but it died, so it's probably gone. We're not doing so hot this time. There is somebody in enemy territory. Let's see if I can super jump to them and uh, get a little bit of ink as we're... There he goes. Okay, I'm going to try to ink up their area here if I can while they're just chilling in ours. Get as much as I can and look out. Get him, get him. There we go. Got him with an ink mine. We're going to try to sneak around here, I'm sure. Oh, oh no. <laughs> a little too far away to get a lot of shots in. But we did ink a bit. That roller guy is still in there. He can survive. He's getting surrounded. Probably shouldn't super jump to him. He super jumped away. Oh no! I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get inked. Okay, they left. They left here. They left me. That's not what I'm gonna do though. I'm gonna try to take out these guys as much as I can. Can't use it. I got one with it. Okay, look out. Try to get out of the way. 
Oh, they're getting over here. Oh no! I had my ink strike. I don't think this is gonna work though. We we just got so creamed on that one. Alright, well, maybe the RG will have a little bit better luck. We'll do one more turf four and then we'll switch back to splat zones. That was a lot closer than I thought it was gonna be. My team did a really good job of inking our base. I just, yeah, we weren't doing so well pushing. And, oh, we lost a flare! That's why. We probably would have, you know, maybe done well. We did, considering we almost had as much percent as them, so. I love when that happens, trialing over adversity, when you lose a player there, but it is unfortunate. Alright, Wolf Princess is heading out of Twilight. She's leaving. See you later. Thank you for tuning in. As always, you can watch the streams back later. Blue Ninja, I recognize that name. We might have a few people joining in from uh, from being on the Smash Friends Guys. Whatever. <laughs> That's the official name. Smash Friends Guys. Alright, let's go and we got ooh, a Splash O Matic and Aerospray M. Er, yeah, I'm the Aerospray RG. Flower Shot Pro. Good variety of rapid fire weapons. The Pro, I really want to try that out again. I just really, I didn't like the fact that it runs out of ink so fast. It's got really good uh, accuracy. It's just, it's not great when you run out of ink in the middle of a fight and you're trying to, you know, take somebody down. It can really put a uh, spider in your stomach if you, no, <laughs> that's a new term. It really just made me eat a spider there. All right, let's try to strike and look out. Somebody's killer wailing. That's my, oh no. Man, I thought I had him there, but I was like slightly off with my aim. I think that's why I like the uh, the ink brush and the roller. You know, you know, your aim doesn't have to be that great. You can just kind of, you know, shoot in an area and get someone, but I guess that makes it not as skillful. You gotta get used to these shooters. We were doing good with the 52 gal deco, but a lot of my kills were coming from Seekers, which lock on. So I think I, my aim is uh, something I definitely need to work on. All right, let's push in. Try to get some of this territory here. Corners haven't been inked. Somebody's over there. Okay, just saw someone. That guy's over there. I'll leave a mine. Maybe they'll push in with that and run it, run over it. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I mine just went off. Oh no! Got hit by a suction bomb. Jeez, we were we were on such a good streak, and then I switched weapons and we lost it. But we'll come back. They are deep in enemy territory. My teammates. I'm gonna try to push in here and get some of this stuff behind towards our area, because I think they're they're distracting him, so if there's someone over here, I'm gonna have to deal with them. Oh no, a lot of them must have died, because I see almost my entire team is now over here. Let's get them. Try to jump up onto that if I can. That was just in time there. Alright. Oh, got a splatter. A suction bomb there. Alright. This little nook here, up there, is a nice spot to uh, try to ink and hide on, because most people don't go for that, but I don't know where my buddies are. I gotta push in. I gotta push in. Throw a ink mine there and just go, go, go. There we go. That's the power of the arrow spray. Look out! There. <laughs> I saw them there. Oh no! I, uh, it was too close to that roller. Couldn't back up in time. Come on, guys. We are winning. There's like no time, so I'm gonna try to super jump to someone. This might be a bad move. They might see me coming through. Oh, let's back it up. Lay a mine. Try to ink a bit here. Man, got their splatter bombs all over the place. Suction bombs. We call them splatter bombs. Same thing, basically, but one is a suction cup. Go, 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 go. Alright, gonna try to move in and don't have time to lay mines. Just time to ink. You got time to sink. You got time to ink. That doesn't work. <laughs> I was gonna say, you got time to lean. You got time to clean. But we're not cleaning here. We need some rhyme with ink. Oh, that's kind of close, but we were really deep in their territory, so... Yeah, not as close as it looks. <laughs> okay, sometimes it's really hard to judge just from the map who is winning and who's losing. All right, let's switch it up, maybe. We did a few battles with the RG. Well, we'll maybe we'll do one more with Ranked, since we haven't done that yet. It's flat zones. And uh, that'll be good, I think. And you guys will let me know. I saw the splatter scope was very popular as a choice. Magnus is asking, when will Splatfest be? We still don't know, but hopefully they'll let us know soon. I think the European one was supposed to be next weekend, so maybe they'll push that back as well. I don't know, the Japanese one was a week before today, but it had some issues, so they're going to fix it. And I think, even though they got to go first, I I'd be happier to have a problem-free Splatfest 
rather than one that's got you know a bunch of disconnections and stuff like that. Someone's asking how much longer in the stream. I think I'll do like another half hour. We'll go till midnight my time, since it's earlier for some of you guys. Go back to Kelp Dome here. I do like this one for Splat Zones. It's so fast-paced, and you're just like always in the action with this one. Oh man, they got a good variety. Gotta look out for that blaster. You don't see the blaster too often, so whoever's using it probably knows what they're doing. Let's try to push it in. I'm going to leave a mine here if I can. What if I go up in the middle and then leave a mine? There we go. I'll leave that for somebody, some unsuspecting inkling to run into. Oh, see the blaster there. Let's try to look out and see where they are. Oh, he, he did the uh, disruptor on me, so that slowed me down. I don't think my, my mind got anyone there, but okay, there's a Kraken. Probably trying to get over here. Let's see if we can go around and try to quickly use that. I think I tapped the right spot. I hope so. There we go. No one over there. My mind just went off. Oh, there's a ink <laughs> strike going on. Oh! <laughs> my mind! At least my mind got a little bit of territory. That's one good thing. If your mind blows up, even if it doesn't splat another inkling. Man, look at this. Roller got into our territory. Even if the mind doesn't splat anyone, it still gives you a bit of territory. Kind of like a splat bomb esque. Is that a, that's a paintbrush, probably? Let's throw one of these right here and look out! <laughs> oh, jeez. There we go. Man, two people there. There's a few players sneaking around. I see ya. Trying to get over here. Sneak it up. We gotta look out because they have that spot right there that they can like jump right over. This is where I want to leave maybe an ink mine right here. Because that's where I like to jump down. If I'm a blue squid. There we go. We got him before I could even leave that trap there. Yeah, the ink mines are more. You gotta play more cerebral and uh. <laughs> and leave them in spots where you know people are going to jump into. Let's see. Uh, whatever I miss, one, two, three, four says, please say dogs rule. Dogs and cats rule, but I am on team dogs, and I'm going to stay that way when the Splatfest is eventually here. Excuse me. All right. <laughs> Hopefully you guys didn't hear that. I keep uh, muting when I burped. I had like a nice little uh, soda-y sort of energy. I forget what it's called. It's not like a soda, but it's like a sort of like an energy thing. Nero something. But it's carbonated, so it's making a little rumbly in my tumbly. All right, let's see. We're going to try the E-Leader 3K. We need to use the custom one, but we got to unlock it first, so we have a few more levels. We're leveling pretty quickly here. We've already leveled twice. What's my favorite color ink? Haley Kitten asks. I'm pretty sure green has got to be... Not this color green, necessarily. This is like toothpaste that you spit out. But the like neon, like the brighter green is probably my favorite. We'll do one more with this. And then we are going to move on to a different weapon here. So once once you see you know the judge coming up, let me know in the comments what weapon you want to see, because that's when I'll be looking at the chat. Alright, let's move in. Oh, we're going in the wrong spot. I did not see which side this was on. We've got to try to be careful here. Try to leave an ink mine right there. Oh! And got him! <laughs> got him. That got at least uh, it was a little parting gift. I don't know if I can move in there. Should I super jump? I'm gonna do it. I might regret it. Let's see. Whoa. Oh, I jumped right onto that. Okay. Let's back it up here. Look out. Oh, almost. Nope. I can't squid from there. Try to back up. You're a squid, Harry. Get him. Oh, no. Flat bombed me. But my ink strike maybe took someone out. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, little guy. He tried to get us with his ink zooka, and he might. I think he took me out, but fell off into the water. Me style. That's how I like to go. Just jump into the water. Okay, there's somebody over there. They're trying to get up that side. I'm gonna sneak around and see if I can get them. They're like, I'm gonna go over into their territory. No, you're not. No, you are not. Think that on the way down. All right, this is where I'm gonna drop a mine. Somebody booyahed. I always forget that I'm like, booyah. I can do that. Just tap down on the control pad. Jeez. And they'll see it on the map. I just went through like a barbed wire there. So I'm gonna sneak over and try to get these little inklings. Look out! Ooh, jumped off. There's a lot of people jumping off, I'm noticing, on this map. They're not quite used to it. Which makes sense. Like, I just started doing this as well. Oh no! Thought I would get one of them. My mind didn't get them either. They got the nozzle nose. That's a nice, good new weapon. They're pushing ahead. Okay. Try to ink a bit while I go. Maybe get some more territory so that I can get my special charged up in time. Go, 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 go. I'm going crazy with my inking. There we go. Okay. 
Oh, did they just do that, or is that mine? Oh no, we both... <laughs> we both ink striked like the same time. Kind of a waste of that. Sorry, my buddies, but it held off the territory a little bit. Let's look out and try to go around the side here and get him. Get him, get him, get him. Ugh. Man, three players. This is what normally happens with us. Maybe I should. I'm close range, so I can't really, like, get them from the ramp. We're in danger here, and our squids are dropping off. This is one I want to try to get. They lost control. Okay. This is one I'm trying to get some more territory, if I can, and quickly build up my special. Here we go a little bit more. I'm trying to, I'm trying to move in, but I'm also trying to get some territory here so that I can hit them with a special. There we go. All right. This is what we need. This is our push. Go, go, go. And we're in control. Drop that. And, jeez, should not have gone so far in, but I wanted to leave an ink mine. Okay, at least we're we're in control for a little while, I think. Oh, no. Running out of time. We lost control. No. I don't know if I have enough time to build up another ink strike, because I need to do a whole meter there. We really need to push and get this. Oh, man, what weapon are they using? The range of... Oh, Fluttershot Pro. Really good range there. So, get picked right off. Unfortunate. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. I, do, I need to make sure that I'm not... Oh, jeez. They're right there. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, man, they got their bomb rush right when I... Ah, uh, I was just boxed in there. Man. All right, we're going to switch weapons after this, so make sure as soon as you see Judd pop up that you let me know, and that's going to be pretty soon here because we're running out of time. <laughs> but, yeah, if you see uh, Judd, let me know in the comments what weapon you want to see, and that's it. They knocked us out. All right. Well... It was back and forth for a little bit, but I just really couldn't push in. Let's see. You are the bomb, says whatever I missed. Thank you. Please say croissant. It will make my life. Atomic Llama says croissant. All right. He's a squid and a kid, alternating. That little duck that the, <laughs> the emoticon I just saw. Man, I got splat so many times. That little duck emoticon looks like a zapfish. Went down a little bit in points. A lot of people <laughs> say croissant. All right. What are we going to switch to? Splattershot Pro... I don't really like the Splattershot Pro without without an Ink Saver main, because they run out so fast. Let's see. We've got enough money to buy another weapon if we want. There's the Splatter Scope. You guys wanted to see that. Normal Roller, Crack-On Roller, Charger. Let's see. Splatter Scope. Okay, I see quite a few Splatter Scopes. So we'll do that at least until I do horribly with it. And then we'll maybe finish up with the Roller or something. We'll see. You guys let me know. I do like, I think the roller is my favorite. Ink brush is, is right up there. The ink brush, I think, is more fun than the roller, but I love having the Kraken. So, and some maps, the, the squid beacons that the, the roller has are really useful as well. I'm going to pay attention to the chat and take a drink here real quick. Okay, getting into another battle. Thank you guys again for hanging out with me. It's definitely more fun to play Splatoon and level up with a lot of people hanging out and watching and talking to me, so I appreciate it. If you do want to leave a thumbs up, I definitely appreciate that too, and thank you if you already did that. Okay, ooh, I remember. I was like, ooh, I gotta get right in there. Can I jump up onto that? Oh no, you have to jump from your spawn to do that. And so we have splash bombs, and we've got our charger here. Let's do that and try to get as many snipes as we can. Let's see. I'm gonna try to stay back here, but I don't know if I can do too, too much sniping there from all the way back here. Almost got that one person. Need to move in a little bit. All right, we're doing okay. I don't have any, like, sprinkler or anything would be really nice to have on this weapon. These ink striking, but I can get, I can get a lot of that. Let's look out. Oh, that's one of my guys. None of them have moved far enough into my territory for me to be able to do too much yet. Oh, almost got that one. Oh. <laughs> All right, now this is when I'm gonna just throw a bunch of bombs and get my stuff back. There we go. Try to get a bunch of territory. Wink is low, because I accidentally used too many there. Where are they? Oh, jeez. I saw them popping over. Oh, man. That, okay, that was that was one of our guys. That scared me. Let's see. There's someone right there. Gotta look out with the splatter scope, because I'm so zoomed in that I'm gonna have a hard time trying to. This is crazy. Hopefully you guys are... Uh, not getting seasick or anything here, or land sick. Yeah, I can't really hit that far. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just missing them left and right. Okay, this is one we're gonna get here. Nope. 
Missed him there. <laughs> you can tell, I almost never used the charger, so thank you guys for uh, bearing with me here. Oh, there's a guy right there. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, he fell through. This is when we're gonna do some of these bombs everywhere. Throw a couple down there. Jump, jump, jump! My, my little guy looks so happy when he's just jumping around, inking. Right, there's the roller. There we go. First snipe. Oh, back it up. Because this guy's jumping right off. Let's see. Oh, ink strike. Threw it right on himself. Try to get that one right there. Almost. Okay, they're good. My team is really picking up the slack for my lack of charger skills, which is nice. Alright, we're in control. Almost got enough terrain covered to get our uh, special going here. There's somebody back there. They're not getting far enough in. I don't really need to charge because we're going to get our special here anytime now. There we go. A little bit more. And we got a little more territory. There we go. Okay. Char charge! <laughs> special! Bombs away! Bomb rush! There we go. Throw a couple bombs in there. And look out because they got through. Yep. I knew that was going to happen. Be careful here. They're probably trying to get in. Oh, man. Just barely missed them. That one's good. Got him. Got him. I didn't get him, but somebody did. That's all that matters. Throw a bomb in there. Maybe that'll help me. Or help my team out. <laughs> yeah, that, my sniping post. Not working out the best. Trying to make sure I uh, get enough ink. We got one kill so far, I think. Maybe more. I don't know if my bombs killed any of them. It's possible. A stray bomb might have hit an inkling. Alright, let's get that spot over here. They're gonna try to go around the side, probably. Oh, look out! So far, I've stayed alive okay, thanks to my my little strats here. Alright, this is one we wanna bomb rush. Bomb rush! <laughs> Throw bombs all over the place! Here we go. A few more, and keep my sure I keep my ink levels. Okay, yeah. Sometimes I accidentally throw too many bombs past my bomb rush, and then I get in trouble here. Alright, we're doing okay, despite me playing a charger. My team is really pulling uh, pulling their own weight. There's somebody up there. So we can get them. There we go. Alright. Got another kill. I think it was the same arrow spray guy. Oh, where is, where is that? Oh, too far away. Too far away. Jeez, they got a special. Throw some bombs in. Are they gonna try to? They're not gonna try to. Yeah, I was like, they could use a ink strike to take me out, but I'm not doing that much from up here, so they probably don't really care that much. He's down there hiding. Throw a splat bomb in. I don't think I can get it all the way up on top of that thing, but okay, here we go. Splat bombs everywhere. We should hopefully take out some of them. Oh, I'm just distracting the kraken a little bit there with that. Okay, here he is. Oh, look out. Almost got him. Nope. Uh, <laughs> he ink strikes. We're doing good, though. We're going to knock him out. Let's see. Okay. Well, wasn't the best, but I kind of want to see how I could do with the splatter scope on Bluefin Depot. We only got a few kills. Let's see how we did. This is not Splatfest, says Tristan. Yeah, this is, uh, Splatfest is postponed. We got to wait a little while for that because they're fixing some issues. I got three kills. Not bad. Same amount as that the player below me that got with the splash matic so that's not too bad for almost never using the splat charger or any charger. Okay. Got him, Adam. Got him. Says Amazing Star. Thank you. Let's do one more with the splat charger or splatter scope and we'll move on to a different weapon here since it's definitely not my forte, <laughs> but it's good to get practice in. All right. What is... Let me see what that comment said. Use the splat roller. Hmm, what do Inklings eat? I don't know, maybe other s Well, they eat kelp at least, we know that. Squid eat other animals, I think. So I think they probably hunt stuff, but they have kelp that's grown in the kelp dome. Because Callie and Marie mention in the info, they're like, back when Captain Cuttlefish was young, they didn't have anywhere to grow vegetation, so the kelp dome's like a new thing, the greenhouse there. And we're going back one more time. I'm not getting Bluefin Depot as much as I would hope. Usually the new stages pop up so often, but I do like this one. Okay, got a good mix there. And they do as well. They got a lot of close range weapons, so hopefully I can try to use my splatter scope to do a bit of uh, ink in here. All right, time to see if I can snipe in. I could try to go into the middle, but I'm like super vulnerable there, so we'll see. Whoa, I don't think that was me. Can't quite go that far with the, the splatter scope. 
throw a splat bomb in there, help my team out. Here we go. They're they're doing a pretty good job holding off the other team at this point. Let's see, get that a little bit. And uh, I could, can I walk? Nope. <laughs> I was like, can I walk on the greenhouse part? Nope, you can't. You just fall right off. Throwing so many of their little suction bombs. I think people are using the Splashomatic a lot because that's the uh, that's the one that has all the that bomb rush of suction bombs. There's a couple other weapons that I think have it as well. Let's throw that into. Oh no, it got blown up. Oh, somebody's behind me. Let's see if I can hit him with the no scope. <laughs> yeah, literally no scope. If you just kind of spam the uh, without charging too much, you can get a little bit of ink coverage, but it'd be tough. Oh man, they're all over the place. They've inked everywhere. Throw that in and look out. Try to get back up on my perch. Oh yeah, this is when we want to do this. There we go. Bombs away. Should help, hopefully. And we got an ink strike, so we're pushing back in. There we go. They inked my perch all up. Let's see, there's somebody right there. Almost. Ugh, trying to lead my shots a little bit, but I'm having a hard time with this guy. There's someone right there. They're getting out of the way, though. Look out. This is when they're trying to get me. They can't get over this way, but they can, you know, push in. They're really doing well. I, I need to uh, step up my scoping game here, or I'm going to be in trouble with my team. They're doing a lot more work than I am. Here we go. I got somebody with it. Got at least one person with the splat bombs. Charge up my ink and get that guy. Jeez. Uh, I, I took him out as I got splatted, and they lost control. That guy down there with the Splash Shot Pro, he's doing good. He got me. Go, go, go. All right, this is when we got to push in. This is when I'm like, I wish I had a, a more melee weapon, because I would really push in on the opponents there. All right, throw that. And now I know exactly where they all are, thanks to this little bit of, uh, of echolocation. There we go. OK, we got to quickly get some of this covered so we can take the territory. There we go. All right, we're doing okay. I want to make sure no one sneaks up behind me, though. <laughs> we're all right. They're going to push in here pretty soon, though, probably. They're in danger now because we're getting a lot of points. Just got to make sure we keep it that way. Oh, almost. <laughs> Where did they go? Oh, no, the, the ink strike. I hate the ink strike. Gets so much territory so fast. There we go. Man. Yeah, I'm so used to moving around and moving in that... Oh, no. <laughs> that trying to use the uh, splatter scope is uh, not my favorite. I really need to back up and try to get back in there. <laughs> Fell off my perch, my comfort zone. All right, there we go. I've almost got enough for my special. OK, this is when we're going to use this. And go, 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 go. Bombs away. <laughs> I think I got the one guy. Yeah, there we go. Everywhere, bombs. Bombs for you. You get a bomb. I'm like the Oprah of splat bombs. You get a bomb. You get a bomb. Go. We're doing okay. We, we took the lead. Let's get this guy. Nope. This gal. Where'd they go? Get over there. <laughs> Man, just out of range. Okay, this one I want to try to ink a bit of that and get that guy. There we go. And there's someone right there. Whoop. Try to throw a bomb right down. Oh no, they bubbled. I'll throw that down there just to cover some ink as well. Somebody coming around the bend. There we go. <laughs> coming around the mountain. Get a little bit over there, and okay, this is the time to use the bomb rush because they're pushing in so close. Let's see if I can get the bomb over there, and then all right, we're okay. We survived just a little bit longer. <laughs> we could do this. I'm not used to sniping, as you can tell. So we'll change weapons though after this one. No worries. If I can get somebody like so. And, oh nope, they're ink striking. We gotta hurry and get them. There we go. <laughs> I think my buddy with the charge, the uh, roller there got him. But I was like just trying to do the, uh, the rapid snipes. Let's look out. There's somebody right down there. I got a suction bomb. Keep that covered. Look out. A little more ink. Oh, no. I threw my splat bomb. A little more ink and I've had my special, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get it. I saw the I saw the comments and it was just like, is fairy tale good? <laughs> I've never watched fairy tale. I watched a little bit of One Piece. All right, go, 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 go. Mm, come on, guys. We gotta take territory. Okay, they lost control. We gotta keep it. We gotta keep it or else we're gonna be in trouble here. If we hold it a little bit longer, I think we'll have it maybe. Oh, I don't know. It went to overtime there and we held it, but I don't know if it was enough. 
Yeah, we did it. All right. Can't believe we won both of my splatter scope games, since I'm not great with that. All right, what weapon are we gonna use, guys? You guys gotta let me know. I got five kills. Oh, oh everybody else is like 12, 13, but five kills for me with a, with a charger it warms my little heart. Let's see. Do you ever think there will be a 3DS version of Splatoon? Says Ghost Raj. Uh, probably not. It would be really tough for the 3DS to handle all this. Although I would have said the same about Hyrule Warriors. But that's coming to 3DS. You'd think that all those, you know, tons of enemies wouldn't work. So we think an ink brush maybe for the end here? Yep, I see quite a few ink brushes. Also, there's the crack on. There's a lot of ink brushes. Let's finish up with the ink brush. It's in the thumbnail. Let's do it. Thank you guys again for leaving those suggestions. We'll do some more ranked since it's uh, so good for experience. We might, I don't know if we're gonna level again, but I'd like to. We'll see. Yeah, lots of ink brushes. I'll do more of the rollers in another episode, though. But thank you guys for making the first Splatter Day Night Live a uh, pretty good success. Got over 500 people watching now, and uh, I appreciate it. Ooh, good. We're going to Bluefin Depot. I wanted to play this one more. This is the new map, and I didn't get to play it much. Okay, so we're on... We gotta go to the left. I have to check that before we get going. And this is one I'm gonna just, like, zip, zip, zoom! Fly in with my ink brush! <laughs> because I can just kind of run along, make a little trail for people to follow. All right, this is good, this is good. Let's see if I can throw a sprinkler in there and be careful since they're getting, oh no, uh, I'm running out of ink. No, 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 get out of there. Splash bomb everywhere. There's a guy up top, but I got him, I got him. Oh no, I got taken out, but at least I took one down with me. This is gonna be an intense one, I can already tell. All right, let me see if I can jump to this guy since he's just hanging back a little bit. Save me some time, booyah. All right, we get base. Let's try to throw. Ooh, what if we throw one up there? Are they gonna see that? Maybe not. I like to throw things upside down. They'll probably see the insane amount of ink flying out of there, but all right, let's back it up. Try to stay in a good spot here. Got their suction. Man, I think so many people are using the splash o -matic. I'm not sure what other weapons have the uh, the splat bombs special there. Whoa, whoa, there we go. Oh man, I thought I would take them out in time, but I ran out of. Uh, Ran out of flicks of the old brush, but yeah, the the it's the splashomatic has the suction bomb rush, and I'm not sure what else. I'm curious. Oh, look out! Oh no, my friend got him. That's the danger of super jumping. You know exactly where you're gonna be. Don't jump in! Don't jump in yet, buddy. I want to super jump to you. Okay, good. So we backed up, and the killer whale is right where I'm jumping. Okay, we're we're okay. We're okay. That was close. We're in control. Okay, this is what I'm gonna try to throw one of those on the back. They'd have to go around the edge now to get that, or if I just die, then it's gone. But it'll it'll ink a little bit here. There we go. Got one of them, and I really gotta move in close here. Look out. A splash, splash wall there. Oh no. <laughs> I think I took somebody out there, maybe. But I got too deep into enemy territory. Okay, let's go in. I tried to put my. Uh, my little sprinkler upside down on the middle, but I think it's too easy to snipe from there. So let's throw it on the back of that. And be careful. Whoa, almost jumped off. Booyah! Lots of booyahs going on. Alright, let's be careful. Got low ink. Some of the weapons, like the charger, you can still shoot ink when it's out of ink, you know? But it's a little tougher. Are they tracking us? Because that guy saw me there, even though I was uh, hiding out. Oh my gosh! This is going crazy. I should try to ink strike while I can before I get killed. I'm like stuck in a corner. Here we go. Push in and jump right into their faces. Crazy kills. <laughs> All right, got him. There we go. All right, maybe I should put this underneath so we get more territory. They're gonna have to deal with that at least. Man, just sometimes just jumping in without any uh, discretion can be fun. Probably not the best strategy, but it worked for me there. Got a couple kills from that. All right, where are they going? Where are they going? I'm ninja squidding. They might be able to see me, though. Go look out. See if we can get a little bit on the side. Oh, man. Two of them jumped down. I got the one, and the other, like, turned around. We got a little bit of a lead there, so hopefully we can keep it. Buddy is... Somebody's, like, taking their time to ink. I was doing that before to build up my special, but they're taking a little bit too much time to ink there. It's gonna be too critical of another player. There we go. Maybe that will help out. Get a little ink going. Try to jump down while I can. Look out. Man, the sprinkler. So nice. It'll, not only for covering terrain, but it's cool just to have to be able to 
ink a bunch of territory. That was an ink mine, but I couldn't tell whose side it was on. Maybe we can jump up. Nope! That was a bad, bad move there. My buddy saved me. That was so close. I'm trying to jump up and uh, get into their territory. No! <laughs> I was like, maybe if I get up there, I can try to sneak around. I should have just stuck on the point. I just have to be so close to use the ink brush well. We are in control. Only 10 seconds left. Let's just jet in using my little ink brush speed. Oh, we lost control. Go, 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 go. It's bad to lose control right at this key moment. Let's see. Where'd they go? They're hiding around here. I saw them shooting. I saw them shooting. There's somebody up top. I'm going to jump in. Oh, pfft. I was going to do a really cool play, like flip off of the middle and smack him with a brush in the face, but... Ended up winning anyways, I think. All right, we'll do maybe one or two more matches here, and we're going to end at midnight. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I love playing Splatoon, and I know I've been playing a lot of it on my channel. I've been working on other things like the zoo, and I'm trying to figure out, or the Minecraft zoo. I'm trying to finish the monster house and the animal area at the same time before I do another episode. So it's taking quite a while. Just do that in my spare time. The only problem with Minecraft building, after about a half hour of playing Minecraft, especially building, I get really nauseous, <laughs> so it's kind of, I, I feel silly and uh, a little dumb admitting that, but that's just something I have to deal with now, playing Minecraft. It's, I don't know. I didn't used to get motion sick as a kid. I think when you get older, it, it happens more. My sister used to, like, get sick while I was playing Sonic the Hedgehog on the, on the Genesis. But yeah, I'm working on that. It's not gone. It's not forgotten. We're just we're trying to get that done, and uh, when we do, we will get into that. But yeah, I, I play a lot of Splatoon just because I really enjoy it. It's a new game, and uh, I enjoy it a lot, but it's also something that I can play and enjoy without having to prep too much for. Some stuff like Minecraft I gotta do a lot of prep for, so appreciate you guys understanding, and uh, see if I can get around here to get this person. Where did they go? Oh, they're behind me. Oh, there they are. Oh, no. <laughs> I was, like, in air when I splatted, so I couldn't tell if I died. All right. I need to get three-star gear, someone mentioned. Yeah, I don't. I haven't unlocked much of it. I could order it, but it costs more money. I think it's like 15000 per three-star gear. I'd love to get a good, like, ninja squid shirt. Eventually, I'm going to upgrade some of the gear I like the better, or like the look of better, and just do that instead of uh, some of the stuff that probably is better right now, but maybe not my preferred look of stuff. All right, let's jump up into the middle if we can. Try to get that guy. There we go. Get all that, and look out! Man, that ink mine almost caught me there. We're good, we're good. Yeah, moving up, moving on up. Trying to get through here. I saw someone over over here. Just gotta be careful. Was like right in their base area. Yep, yep, yep. I'm moving so fast. Ninja squid! Get him! <laughs> no, I got him. I, I splatted Finn, the human, but I got taken out right after that. Let's go! Back into battle. Zip in. It's one of the cool things. I don't use it that much, but it's cool to uh, have that little zippy, zippity doo dah uh, <laughs> thrush there. It doesn't cover much terrain, so I tend not to use it. They're in control, and they're really pushing that one spot, so I should go to a different area here. Throw that in there. Then I have to deal with that. I don't want to necessarily group up on one spot too much. There we go. I splatted someone, and somebody is hiding around here. I can just see it. I can tell. Oh, that was our killer whale. Okay, you're not going to be in this spot too often. So, this is when I want to move in and try to ink a dink. There we go. That's not a term. I don't know why I said that, but oh well. Get him, get him, get him, get him. There we go. All right, go around, zip around, and sneak up on him. There's somebody right there. Yeah. Okay, my friend got him. Let's see if we can get around. <laughs> in the heat of battle, I'm just like ink a dink, a doo doo doo. All right. This up here. We'll probably get destroyed, but that's okay. Try to cover a lot of this. Nope. Oh, jeez. I had my ink strike, but I got killed. I love the blue and blue and yellow. I know I mentioned it's, <laughs> it looks kind of like Ness from Earthbound and my Minecraft skin, but I think it just looks really good together like that. They use a lot of contrasting colors. I, I don't think those are complementary colors, but they just they still look good together. They're both primary colors. I lost so much of my. Oh, jeez, I fell off there. I lost so much of my special gauge when I died, but I don't have a special saver, I don't think. There's somebody up there. Alright, look out! Oh, I didn't kill him in time, but I can hide an ink strike of my own. There we go, right after theirs. I'm just gonna cover over the spot that they did. 
the lookout. There's somebody right there, but I want to get their friend. Let's drop him down. There we go. Try to go after them. Oh no, my buddy's got him. Look out! <laughs> oh man, this is all over the place here. Let's see if I can get the sprinkler right there. And look out! There they are! Get them! Ah, man, I think we're doing good though. Yeah, we're, we've got more points. This might be our last battle here. We'll do one more after this, as long as it it ends here in a sec. We can try to try to end it, you know, an hour and a half, even or so. It's a good length of time. They're gonna be distracted by my sprinkler, and then I'm gonna jump in and get them. And they're gonna try to ink strike right where they were. I think it wasn't the best use of that because <laughs> they had already inked a lot of that. But I think they were trying to defend themselves from any opposing inkers. Where are they? Where are they? Get that guy. We can. Nope. Back up. <laughs> I was like, run. I jumped too short there to take him out. Oh no. We're winning, but this could all change in a moment. Go, 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 go. They ink striked. We lost control. They're going to catch up so quick. All right. As soon as that is done, I'm throwing in my sprinkler. Try to cover that side where they ink striked. Go, go, go. There we go. Lost control. Doing good. Doing okay, at least. Maybe not the best, but. Oh, there's somebody right there. I got the dual squelcher. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's a nice gun. Got inked by that same bike helmet guy. He keeps standing on the one spot like I would do to charge. Maybe if I ink a bunch of this base, I'll get my uh, ink strike a lot faster. We're in control. I'm not there to witness it. There we go. Let's see. Are they trying to sneak around? There's somebody right there. There we go. Jeez, got quiet there. It was so intense. So intense. That doesn't even work. All right, <laughs> that one pun. We'll do one more, guys. Thank you again for hanging out. We're almost done here. Does he own an RG, says Blue Ninja? Yeah, I do have the Aerospray RG. I think I saw you in, in battle, Blue Ninja. But I, I like it, it's just, yeah. I'm doing, ooh, 12 kills. Doing pretty well with the ink brush. So there we go. And are we close to leveling up? We're almost in B minus rank. I didn't think we would get that far. Ooh, one more and we'll level up. We can finish off with uh, seeing what we unlocked. And then next time, on probably a normal episode, we'll see. I gotta win, though, if we want to unlock something. Let's see. Alright, getting a bunch of people in here, and I'm gonna check the chat. Hmm. Animal Crossing Bob's asking about how I feel about Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. Uh, he's not happy about it. I'm, I think I'm cool with all the spin-offs, like Metroid Prime, Federation Force, and Animal Crossing Amiibo festival and happy home designer like that stuff is cool as long as we're still getting the main one and i i feel like we'll probably still be getting an animal crossing wii u because they have all the framework there they got all the hd stuff it would be a little silly if they didn't release one that's like an upgraded new leaf and maybe we'll get the cool stuff from happy home designer to be able to play stuff down so a little animal crossing talk there there we go we're gonna we're gonna finish on bluefin depot but yeah as long as nintendo and i think they're working on a main metroid and stuff like that as long as they still have those main ones, I don't mind. Uh, Amiibo Festival is going to be free, so yeah, we'll see. Let's zip in, and i got to really focus, because if I win this, uh, this last match here, then we'll be sitting pretty on a new level and a new weapon. There we go, let's ink that up, and doing okay so far. i got to make sure I'm recharging here. Probably throw one of those in the middle, do a little bit more inkage. we got to get the zone. There we go. I was like, we don't have the zone even yet. And that's going to be trouble for us if I can ink this up here and get over the top there. I don't want to push back too far. I don't know where these guys are. But they might be trying to push in. Are we? We're on the right side, right? There we go. See if I can ink strike and look out. They're hiding right They're hiding there. Jeez. Oh, okay. <laughs> My buddy got him. We're like all up on here. This is bizarre. Oh, jeez. There we go. Yeah, we pushed into their territory a little much. I forgot to even look at the map to see what side we we're supposed to be on. We got a lot of points, but they can catch up easily. Look how fast their little pink counter meter is going down. Okay, they lost control. We're doing good. This is where their roller came from. I can get my arrow, or my uh, ink strike built up real quick here. They're doing that. Did I throw it on top of it? That would be, like, impossible for them to get rid of if, it, if my uh, sprinkler is on top of there. I don't know. They would have to just wait until I die to fix it there. Oh, no, no! Okay, jeez. <laughs> I was like, blah, blah, blah. It's another ink brush. All right, let's look out. I'm gonna hide up here. That's my sprinkler, I think. Somebody's gonna try to shoot at it. Whoa, there we go. Saw him creeping around. Let's take this over. There we go. All right. 
that's the ink brush. <laughs> he's dealing with a couple people there, so I was like, he's probably not gonna be able to do that very well. I'm gonna hang out up here. See if I can get someone. Look for that up there. <laughs> Just try to ink them. Alright, they've gotta be coming from one of these like three directions. That's one of our snipers. Somebody right there. Ink them up. There we go. And get that ink brush. Ink brush ink versus ink brush. There we go. We're getting so many kills. So many splats. Get that going. They probably know that I'm over here. What if I threw one right there? <laughs> Will that hit to where they are? Let's see. Let's see if I can get up here. Nope, we knocked him out. All right, that was a nice quick game. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a thumbs up or like if you enjoyed this. I really appreciate it. Any last words before we end the stream? I'm going to check the chat. Oh, we're going to level up, so let's go buy that new weapon, or see what the new weapon is at least. Man, we I think we leveled up twice in this short amount of time. And we've, either we've been really lucky or just been doing pretty well with uh, Splat Zones. We're almost up another rank as well. There we go, level 14. Whew. Gotta get some three-star gear here soon. Otherwise, I'm, uh, I'm a little behind in abilities. Can you say hi to Sarah? Sarah says hi, Sarah. All right, that's a lot of Sarah in one sentence. Let's see. So if you missed any of the stream, you're just tuning in now, definitely check out the, uh, the archive because it'll go up pretty soon. You can watch the whole thing and check it out. We started out with a little bit of lag, but other than that, we're doing well. We got 20,000. I could probably order a piece of gear and get it. So if we see someone with, yep, this is the shirt that has the uh, the white anchor tee has ninja squid. It's a three star one with ninja squid. I'm gonna order that and we'll see if we can buy that. Spike will get that for us. All right. If you wait too long, he adds an ability on it and then it costs like double. It'll cost like 30,000. So definitely buy it like the next day after he orders it. Hello, hello. We got a new weapon. Takes what, you got what it takes to wield my Rapid Blaster. Go on, give it a try. Rapid Blaster is a blaster modified to increase its rate of fire and ink efficiency. It's not as powerful as the blaster, but its fast shots and powerful ink mines are great for pressuring foes. With a bubbler as well, it's probably the easiest blaster to use, so I'd recommend giving it a try. I think the, the yeah, the Rapid one. This is a pretty good weapon. We could test it real quick just to finish up. But yeah, I, I enjoy using this one. The bubbler is pretty good special, of course, too. Say hi to me. How are you doing? I missed your name. There we go. But yeah, look at the rapid blaster. It's not quite as powerful as the normal one. Probably takes about, maybe if I'm close range. Yeah, it takes a little over one. But it's cool. I like the little, like, firecrackers that the blasters shoot out. And then we got these ink mines that we used with the, uh, with the Aerospray RG. All right, thank you guys for watching. If you want to see the blaster, let me know, too, because we'll maybe use that next time. We're so close to leveling again in the, uh... Splat zones in ranked, so you can do that. Thanks again for tuning in for the stream, and we'll try to do more of these Splatter Day Night Lives because it was a lot of fun and we got a lot of levels, so it was cool. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.